to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time my name is desire and i am currently living in italy studying emotion and erasmus plus master but i am a nigerian pharmacist so basically on this channel i talk about skincare life in europe and erasmus plus scholarships if that sounds like something you would like please subscribe today i'm taking you on a lab day today is a very interesting day because i have both lab and exam and like a tutoring class for organic chemistry because we have organic chemistry exam on thursday and today is tuesday i am just oh, all over the place right now but i just want to take you along my day let you know what it really looks like like yeah it's cool it sounds nice to study and do a master's in cosmetic sciences but what does it really look like so um, i'm just about to have breakfast and i'm basically just having like granola and yogurt really and uh, this exam is by 8 30 and it's about 6 30 right now and i still have to study a bit because i'm absolutely not ready for it so let me you know let's let's just start the day i literally don't have any flats so i always always have to wear sneakers faculty the faculty of pharmaceutical sciences and i'm early i'm like almost one hour early but yeah let's go to school exams begin the exam was hard it was very hard it was very hard i'm be laughing the whole time let's just go make some lipsticks let's just make some lipstick. how was it i don't know Welcome to the club. <laughs> it's a club at this point. So we're starting off with lip gloss. I'm going to weigh phase A and we are heating our heating plate to 100 degrees because we need to get that to get the whole thing homogenized or whatever it is. Yeah, solubilized, not homogenized. Wow, scientist. So let's weigh the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, polyethylene wax. What else? We also need um penta erythrail cinnamate and bht do we, do we have the one that has bht 100 the micro crystalline wax yeah yes there it is boom okay so i think that is everything for phase a okay so the lip gloss is taking a bit of time it's still clear for now we've not added pigment but it's dissolved now. The solids are mostly, ooh, they're dissolved or actually it's mostly dissolved. We're going to add pigments really soon because the temperature is super high. This is the lipstick base before we add the colors. This is what our final lip glosses look like. The texture was actually really nice and it came out clear in terms of color. However, we couldn't feel it properly because it was our first time. Please bear in mind that this is a laboratory practical. So this is not what an actual cosmetic manufacturing lab looks like. There's a lot more that goes into testing cosmetics before they're put on the market. Slight update, my period just started so I had to come to the bathroom and I love the fact that we now have pads here is very very helpful it's the one thing that i wish and i hope that every single country in the world and every single bathroom in the world would adopt so yeah emergency with my period comes period pain and my friend isra gave me this diclofenac to use because diclofenac is what works for me i'm supposed to reconstitute it but i only have a bottle of water ah i don't have a cup so I'm just going to pour the diclofenac in my mouth. It tastes like drugs and orange. I always have like the worst cramps, so I guess another time for that. Two days before my OKIM exam. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a lot of steam. This is our lipstick and at this point all of the ingredients have homogenized at this high temperature and we need this because we need an even distribution of the ingredients so that by the time we put the lipsticks in the mold we don't have like an uneven distribution of color and everything forms as well as it should. This is the mold for the lipstick um, for 12 pieces of it and this is the cover. Basically this is the whole thing. Let's pour our lipstick into the mold. Okay, this thing is hot. Now that we have our lipsticks in the mold, we're going to leave it here for like 10 to 15 minutes to just like solidify a bit and cool down. Actually cool down more than we'll take it to the freezer to solidify. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the material. Mm. Mm. This is a pretty nice view. It's the view from the lab. And that building you see there, it's like the cupola. Like it's like Navarra's thingy. Like building, notable building. As I edit this video, I realized that times have truly changed in my life. And I wonder why I didn't edit this video earlier. I wonder why I kept it on my phone for such a long time. But I'm happy I finally get to do it. And even if one person watches it or I just get to watch it all over again, I'm super happy about that. So these are all our products. We have lipstick in a jar. We have the highlighter. Bronze? Okay. <laughs> highlighter. Highlighter lipsticks in the white containers and then lip gloss so final formulation day lab day is done and yeah we cleaned our table and everything so we're a good team all right uh i'm tired <laughs> but we're finally done with lab day um we finished everything today we made um today pilar and i made a like blush i think no highlighter sorry highlighter lipsticks and lip gloss um i didn't get to show you the highlighter part because pilar handled most of that and i handled most of the lipstick that's why i saw a lot more of the lipstick but um a lot of people other people made other stuff there was like body highlighter there was hyaluronic acid serum there were like lots of shades of lipsticks and lip gloss and lip balms um overall a very stressful day um and it just made me realize that there's so much i don't know and there's so much i would i still have to learn like i you know i'm not inadequate but there's just so much knowledge that i do not have so i just want to say um thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed at least do um and tell me if you would like to see more like school life cosmetic like videos and um i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching bye